Wouldn't it be great if you had a crystal ball where you could see Ethereum's price reversals ahead of time? Well, in our last video, we said the 6th of September is the likely date we're going to see a continuation to the downside and is on point. So today we're going to do a continuation of the analysis to see what's now likely to occur next, especially with the merge that's happening right now. So if you like today's content, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. Let's dive into Ethereum. So this is my last video that I did. I think I posted it on the 3rd of September. And what we said was we really, really want to be aware of the 6th uh, six, six of September. We drew this line and here was the date. And we said we're probably going to see one more uptick and then a continuation to the downside. And just like magic, like a magnet. That's how powerful Elliott Wave and Fibonacci is. When you apply it to technical analysis, the price movement literally, literally went up to the range that we have spoken about and it started its move down. And as it started its move down, we can now do an updated analysis on where it's likely to get to. And that's what we're going to dive into in a lot of detail today. By the way, in the description link below, you can actually download this chart. You can just click on the link and you'll get this exact chart. You'll get my four screen layout. So it just kind of gives you a head start. because Sometimes it's difficult to do these wave counts. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually zoom in and get rid of this analysis or technical indicator. We're really going to focus on this part of the market. So now we can have more confidence. It's not confirmed totally, but we've got a strong indication because this low has been exceeded. So I'd like to change it to, to see it a bit clearer. Because this low has been exceeded, this is a strong indication that this top here will hold. Right? That, that's a really, really strong indication for us. So we can use that information and really start to narrow down the likelihood from the buying and selling behavior that's occurring right now, how low is Ethereum likely to go with high probability and what should we be on high alert for, either for short trade setups right now or waiting for the correction to end before a trend reversal and literally waiting for the next leg because the next leg is probably going to be really, really bullish if it occurs over the next few weeks. So the first thing we can do is something called an external retracement. External retracements, I know there's a lot of lines on the chart, but I will, I will summarize it for you, is we're just going to measure this wave B and the two key ratios that we want, which are most common, most frequent, when we see a clear pattern like this, is the 1.272 and the 1.618. Right, we can see that over here. So now, I'm just going to narrow this. This looks like a really high probability range, but we can get better. The other most powerful is the alternate price projection, also known as an extension, where we're basically going to measure how much price, how much was the price movement over here and then project it forward from over here. And this will give us a big clue on what's likely to occur next. So we can plan ahead of time because what I'm drawing here for us is the leading indicators where, where it's, it is, it's not really forecasting, it's just technical analysis, but it's the best thing, you know, the closest thing to a crystal ball. We can't have a crystal ball, but it's the closest thing. All right, the two, the typical most common is actually this range down here, the 100%. But we can also see this ratio over here, 0 0.618. This is the typical minimum. So what will more than likely occur with Ethereum, in fact, I'm going to do one more thing. Wouldn't it be great if we had a more precise date like we did with the 6th of September? Well, also, just like with price, we can measure how many days did this wave A take and then project that forward from over here and that's going to give us another Fibonacci price ratio. I'm just going to click on this, measure, I'll take this low over here, project it forward from this high. And the ratio that we want is actually 100%, which is represented by 1. And you can see it clusters right over here. So now, the high probability, even though we've got this broad range, we want to be on high alert for this particular range over here. This, this, this is really, really common. And reliable. So if we have a, a wider range over here. I'm just going to draw it like this. So we have, because you can download this chart, remember, so you can actually screenshot this. You have access to this so you can view it. If I update it, you'll get the updated version as well because it updates live. So it's pretty cool, which is in the description link below. Let's just do it like so. So what we've got here now are price and time targets. So if you're not used to looking at this, I'm just going to summarize it for us. I'm just going to clean up this chart a little bit. 
Let's just see if I can get rid of this. There we go. Okay, this has served its purpose, so we don't need that anymore. Um, we don't need this line anymore. Um, we This ratio is in the range, so we don't need this anymore. So now what we basically got is two price targets with a date range. Now we're in the corrective zone already. So what I've done, just so you know, because there's, there's method to the madness, right? There's, there's method to the crystal ballness, right? There's no crystal balls, but it's one of the closest things because it's the human psychology and crowd psychology. Individuals are unpredictable, but crowds are quite predictable. That's what Ralph Nelson and Elliot figured out in the 1800s, 1900s, and these Fibonacci ratios are quite reliable. So what we've simply done is we've actually measured how long has this, this five-wave structure to the upside taken. So we measure it in number of days. And then we project forward two key ratios. Then the two key ratios that we're projecting forward is the 38 and is the 38 and the 62 percent. And I've got two ratios here. Let me just make sure what ratio I've got here. Yeah, that's the correct one. What is this one? This one I can delete as well because this one's served its purpose. Oh, actually, no, that's the one. I just didn't get rid of it. That's the 100 percent that we want. All right. Right. So this is our Fibonacci time ratio. So what we have here is the most common, typical time it takes for an A, B, C correction to complete. And it's really reliable. You know, it's just really consistent. We've got our A, we've got our B, and it looks like we've got the beginnings of a C. We're probably going to exceed this low over here and go into this range. This is the first price range. So let's get really specific price points. We've got 1,350 to, let's just call it 1,250 in that range. We want to be on high alert. And then if it breaks this range, the next we want to be on is typical maximum range is between 1135 to around 1075, thereabouts. So how can we get even more pinpoint accuracy? Now, just look at, I've got, I've got a meeting in three minutes. I actually gotta, I'm going to wrap up quite fast over here. So what we've got here is, I'm going to do one more thing for you and then we'll, we'll call it a day, is... We got a momentum indicator at the bottom, which marries up very nicely to the highs and the lows. And ideally, the next low or the one afterwards, when the momentum goes into this zone over here, if that marries up with the price, especially it's probably going to be this one. If I was if I was to kind of bet on where it's likely to go, it's probably going to be this one. If that coincides, so then we've got pattern, right? A B C. This will also, if we drop down to our lower degree time frame, the information's not there yet, so we won't do that today. This would normally break down to our five-wave structure, similar to what we've got over here. So we have pattern, we've got price ratios, is in a Fibonacci time ratio, and we'll have momentum as well. Um, there is a couple of other Fibonacci ratios we could do. Um, I would just, I'll just do, I'll do one of them here. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll do, Actually, I won't do it Yeah, I'll just wait for more information. I'll wait for more information. There's a few different price, sorry, time ratios we can do to really pinpoint the date. But it's more than likely, most common is actually this date, which is the 20th of September, because this is how long this sequence took to get to the downside. And that's most common. Typical minimum, actually, I'll put this here as well, is 62% of that as well. So we've just got this range. We just want to be on high alert for all of these. So there you have it. So you can download this chart in the description link below. You'll get a few other goodies as well, but this, but we'll keep a really, really close eye. So the high probability is that Ethereum is going to be sideways to down for the next week or so and hitting these price ratios. How did you find that? What do you think Ethereum is going to do over the coming days and weeks? I know the merge is happening, but, you know, buy the rumor, sell the news kind of thing. Um, right, I'm going, to, I'm going to read a quote from my book. Description link below. You'll also get my book for free. It's chapter five. Chapter five is Leonardo da Vinci. Simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. I personally don't watch the news. I do my, my, my best to do this. Why? Because the news is designed to throw you off, right? It throw you off, especially in crypto. Because so much fear, uncertainty, and doubt. Fear of missing out. So if you can just rely on the technicals, momentum, pattern, price, and time, you have a massive edge against all the other players in town. And that's how you'll win in the game of crypto tennis.